Okay, let me uh, uh, start today's class. Uh, I think first of all, uh, you, uh, I need to uh, explain about the uh, what's going on here. Uh, right here, uh, you see a first session MVO R1 here. Uh, if you click on that, uh, and we were related uh, right here. Seven skills you need to acquire if you double click that one. Uh, those are what we are gonna learn today. Uh, we are gonna start the uh, N node to and then we are gonna move on to uh, framework matrix, text search, auto code to find out the theme. What the frequency, what the cloud, core matrix framework, uh, coding case, and finally cluster analysis. So uh, if you click on that, it will give you exactly uh, the the uh, the sequence that I'm doing in my uh, uh, presentation. So uh, after this class, you can review by yourself, by uh, going back to, by going back to here, okay? So uh, those are what we are gonna learn today. And so uh, if you feel uh, not certain about something during my uh, presentation, uh, please don't worry about that because, uh, because of the uh, package that I gave you and also uh, the one uh, that I prepared here. Uh, it's basically the same thing. So it talks about the uh, procedure, uh, about what to do first and last and things like that. So during the presentation, uh, I'm gonna refer to this one uh, so that I can follow uh, the sequence, seven skills that you need to acquire. Uh, first of all, uh, let's take a look at the uh, demonstration. First one, and note to uh, MVO self-learning. Um, the folder that you opened before, it has my research code results code matrix. Like, where, where is that? It doesn't matter? Uh, well, yesterday I, I think uh, I sent you uh, about, I about, about the link and things like that. It's all on that one has everyone. For today's, uh, if you go to the uh, LMS, there I posted the uh, link for uh, today's uh, lecture material. So you can get everything there. And so first of all, uh, Let's take a look at, uh, let me uh, give you a de demonstration about what to do for N node to N people learning. Um, with N node, you can do a lot of things. If I click on the N node, let's, let's click on that. If I click on that, uh, you see uh, uh, N node data. Uh, this one basically talks about the uh, um, many different issues coming from different fields. So if you click on the uh, any field, uh, usually uh, that's the way I do any field. It contains what? Uh, case study. I want to know uh, about the case study. Uh, ask Ambivo, uh, I'm sorry, EndNote. And so uh, if I do the search here, I see a uh, uh, 23, 23 references right there. Uh, those are case studies. So if I click on that, if I click on that, I can see uh, uh, also and the uh, URL link where you could get the uh, book directory, books or articles or things like that. And so. Uh, it depends upon your uh, computer uh, situation, and I think uh, for some reason uh, this one. Anyway, so if you click on the URL link, you could get the uh, abstract and everything from there. And so what I want to do is I, I would like to select this one as uh, shift and oh, sorry, 
uh, shift and page down and I select those one and what I want to do is uh, I would like to export this one okay if I click on that uh, then I could get uh, it will ask you how to save it so uh, from here you, you have to save this one as the uh, uh, XML XML is the extension meaning that uh, this can be shared with any uh, program and also APA 7s which is the recent version of the uh, uh, EndNote and then you could save it but uh, you need to remember about that one so on your comp computer screen you see a couple of th things here so uh, for the reference sake let me save this one just the uh, screen and if you click on save it will be on the on the computer screen okay and so uh, later you can uh, use this one uh, let's see uh, if I just exit this one because I got what I wanted and so uh, here I came back to uh, MBIBO uh, data, uh, MBIBO work that I'm working on. So uh, from here, uh, you could import, okay? So if you click on the import, uh, there is the bibliography and things like that. So if you click on that, you can say uh, EndNote, and then uh, you will go to the computer screen, and here you see this one, MBO related uh, literature converted, and then select this one and click open. And so it's gonna ask you how to import, yeah. And just import the way it is, okay? And so uh, we are gonna have uh, 23 case studies uh, done from the uh, MBO related literature. And so where, where, where you can see it, well, uh, usually uh, if you take a look at the uh, file classification, there they do have the uh, 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 EndNote data. And so uh, uh, journal article, if you click on the journal article, oh, well, there is nothing anyway, a reference. So here you see uh, the uh, data that I imported from uh, EndNote. And so uh, one thing that would like to share, I would like to share is the, if you click on the external, it, it has also got 23 uh, items right here. And if you click on that, uh, you can see the uh, actual article, okay? Uh, and right here, not the actual article, but uh, you can uh, click on the edit and you can create your uh, memos here. So that way you can uh, create memo. And uh, if you would like to see the abstract of the article, uh, you can go to uh, memo here. If you click on that, you see uh, the articles right here. So a case study and blah, blah. If you click on that, you will see uh, the abstract, okay, right here. Uh, I think this is very uh, important resources for you because uh, some researchers are interested in uh, looking at the writers, looking at the uh, uh, researchers. Maybe you could divide them by gender, okay? And so maybe you could see the pattern of their writing in the abstract. So by looking at Westerners, non-Westerners, and things like that. Uh, those could be uh, one example of conducting uh, studies. And because uh, we, we get abstract of the articles that we just imported, we could do many things. The list as well. If you click on the external, again you see uh, the uh, imported data from the uh, uh, from EndNote. 
Well, those are all about the uh, uh, endnote to ambival uh, strategy things. So I provided the uh, how, how to get there, and how to see it uh, in the uh, file named uh, session one. So you could go back and review it again. Uh, it, review it again. Uh, let me move on to the second demonstration. The second demonstration talks about the uh, framework matrix, uh, framework matrix, and so, uh, uh, well, uh, if you go to uh, first session and we were R1, uh, the material that I gave you, there is a framework matrix, so you can uh, double click it. So if you double click it, uh, it will bring up the uh, uh, framework matrix that I provided you. Uh, so every time you do that, you need to update the data. So uh, click, click on next, upgrade. And so uh, because I did the work previously, uh, this one needs to be converted to the uh, newest one, which is the MVOR one. And so what we can do about uh, framework matrix, uh, usually when you uh, uh, do the literature review, you have to do the literature review no matter what uh, are you in. So I'm sorry. Okay, let me uh, maximize the framework. Let's see if I click on that one. Uh, this one, uh, obviously this one is the uh, trimming here. From now on, I'm going to talk about the uh, truth cut and written corrective feedback. Uh, we are going to talk about this one a little bit later. So I don't need the uh, sociology and things like that. Let me uh, trim the data. So uh, error correction zero, uh, Alice at all. And so let me uh, remove this one so we can delete them and yeah. And so we do have Truscott, Alice error, and things like that. And so what I'm gonna do is, first of all, uh, I need to create a case. The notion of case is really critical, and so uh, uh, that helps our search better. So let's make it as this one and create as a case. So I could create the case right here. And so where case is. So I can put OK right here. So uh, if you click on the cases, you can see the same data here. Uh, so now I can create the uh, framework matrix. If I click on the framework matrix, uh, I will say uh, lit type on a uh, lit review, okay? Re review. Where's the framework matrix button? Uh, create and framework matrix, okay? Yeah. If you click on that, you see you have to give it a name, lit review, and then rows and columns things. So uh, click on row, you select the what. Well, you can uh, create a, a, you can select the cases here. If, if you click on the cases, um, I uh, uh, selected the case, click OK. And so you see the case right here. And uh, I need a column for that. So if for column, if I select that one, uh, there you see the codes that I created when I read the article, OK? So those are the codes that I made in the article. And so uh, click OK. And if you click OK, then uh, again, OK. And so uh, this one will show you the result. So you see uh, the, the results like, like that. Uh, if you click on that, I, well, there are the uh, writers, the researchers' names down here. and. Uh, if you look at the upper side, uh, you can see the codings that uh, I created right here. 
And so uh, the purpose of uh, doing a framework matrix search is to help my writing process easy, okay? So when I finish my, uh, my reading, I can see a table telling me that who said what. And so to make it possible what you have to do, as you can see, uh, uh, these are two lengths, okay? So these are two lengths. So uh, you need to summary, you need to make summarization. In order to do that, uh, you can do auto summarize. You see the uh, button right here, which is very small one and tricky one, but click on the auto summarize, click on the auto summarize, then it will uh, give you the summary version and a summaries have been made so that uh, helping you uh, to write the process easily. So, uh, well, uh, you could also export this one, okay? So if you click on the uh, uh, right mouse, uh, export framework, and then uh, you can uh, save it uh, uh, on the computer screen, lit review, and save. And it's saved. So if you want to take a look at it, minimize the this one, and let's go to the uh, right here. And so on the computer screen, you see a uh, uh, lit review. If you click on that, uh, you see uh, the uh, Excel is coming up. So like this way, so you see some is missing here, some is missing here, and so uh, missing part, missing part. So, if your student advisor do uh, do not have the MBO, and if you would like to share your uh, experience of reading, and so uh, uh, and you you want to say that uh, this part is missing, this part is missing. So I would like to. Uh, study this part and things like that, then you, your student advisor might get a whole picture of your reading ex experience. And this is, this is nothing to do with uh, uh, research methodology. Uh, any methodology uh, should do uh, literature review. And so you have to read and you have to uh, summarize your understanding and based upon those uh, reading experience, you could start a new study, right? Uh, and maybe uh, perhaps I do have MBIVO, so maybe if you uh, work uh, uh, in MBIVO and if you send it to me, I can open it up and I can take a look at it. But uh, if your student advisor, uh, <coughs> doesn't have it, uh, then you can export the data from MBIVO to Excel and you, you could prepare uh, for your discussion with your student advisor or uh, maybe you could use this one as the uh, part of the uh, conference, okay? So maybe you can share this one with your audience or things like that telling them that I read articles, blah, 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 and I found some missing parts uh, from the previous studies. So I want to share this one with you today, and blah, 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 okay? So it could be a good uh, resource for you uh, for digitization or conference uh, presentation. So uh, framework metrics, uh, with the framework metrics that idea you can do uh, and let me uh, move on to the third topic uh, uh, again you, you can see this one uh, the file uh, that I sent to you so later you can follow uh, this, uh, this, this, this procedure so that you can do it one by one. 
easily and you could get it, okay? And so, uh, today I want to talk about the uh, notion, okay? Um, every time uh, we, uh, let's see, uh, framework matrix, I don't need this one. Take this guy out. Uh, framework matrix, yeah. Uh, uh, and so, let me click on that. Oh, oh my god. Uh, oh yeah. And then what? Framework matrix. Uh, uh, let me open up the... Uh, uh, a really essential things that we are gonna do today. Um, well, this part is kind of experimentation for me, for my uh, presentation sake, uh, to make it more, uh, okay. Uh, framework matrix exercise, is the one that uh, we need to take a look at for uh, for uh, today's presentation. Here we are gonna do. Uh, here we are gonna do a lot of things. Okay, right here. And let me bring up this one. Okay, so uh, let's take a look at the uh, uh, here. Uh, the one framework matrix exercise I provided you before and so here we need to take a look at this one a uh, couple of notions are here coding by cases and file classification so uh, uh, if you are searching in vivo uh, we could think about the structure here the first one is a file on the file we have many files here that you saw last time. And caches, uh, we could create the uh, caches from file classification or uh, even the coding classification and things like that. Okay? And also, uh, so uh, if we kind of research, okay? Uh, if we kind of research, if, you, if we kind of research, uh, we could use this one. So uh, if you kind of quantitative research, you might have the uh, hypothesis to test in the beginning. But if you kind of co uh, qualitative research, usually you might have uh, some research questions in the middle, OK? And so, uh, for a third demonstration, uh, text search to get an over picture of self-running. And so uh, the project that we need to take a look at is the uh, core matrix studies. Okay, core matrix studies. If you click on that, you have uh, 17, 17 articles uh, here, and so uh, if you would like to see what's going on here, uh, well, you can you can do the text search here, okay? So uh, you select core matrix studies here, and if you'd like to do text search, uh, go to Explore and click on that. And it says text search, OK? Uh, if you click on that, uh, you can search a couple of texts. Uh, so it will ask you, what are you looking at? If I type on writing quality, writing quality, writing quality, quality, then uh, if I run query, it will show you the results, okay? And so 
later you can take a look at it uh, by looking at the uh, word tree right here. And so, uh, oh yeah, it takes time. Right here. And so it shows you uh, quite fancy uh, things. But the problem, I see the problem right here. I can see everything. So my search was wrong. So uh, I need to uh, select the items right here. So click on that. And again, what I'm looking at, uh, there are three files here, core matrix uh, explications, core, ma core research, and my research memo and things like that. And if you click on the uh, plus sign, then you see uh, here, core matrix studies, okay? So if I click on that, uh, 17 studies are down there, okay? 17 studies, the one you saw, and click OK. Then, uh, I can do a long query again. So it takes uh, less time than that because I searched the uh, 17, only whole metric studies, and it gives you the uh, whole picture of the word tree and things like that. So if you click on the word tree, if you click on the word tree, uh, you will see the relationships and things like that. About 17 articles on chromatic studies, okay? So you can see uh, before and after of the uh, context and things like that. If you, if you click on this, that one, and if you click run text search query, then you will see uh, the uh, uh, the context like that, right here, after and before, and things like that. And if you would like to see more broad picture of this one, just simply click the uh, original text, then you see right here, where and where and where and things like that. And so that way you can take a look at the uh, uh, what's going on in uh, 17 articles before you read, you read it. So one good thing about this one is you can, uh, if you click on the right side, uh, you see a store query research, and click on that, then you see a, a location, and you can give it a name here, so right, uh, let's make it uh, like writing quality, okay? Writing quality, and then click OK. So you can save this one as the uh, as the result part, or you can save it this one as part of the coding. So when you code in MVivo, uh, you can take a look at it and code them one by one by manually, or if you uh, uh, do the text search, you could code the data automatically, okay, automatically. And so uh, uh, that could be one way of getting benefits from the uh, searches here, okay? So I, uh, show, I show you an example of how to uh, text search uh, among 17 items. And one thing, another thing that you can do is also uh, auto code. Uh, simply click this one, okay? A 17 article again, and if you click on that, on the right right mouse, then you see auto code right here, okay? So if you click on the auto code, uh, there you can do two things. Uh, identify themes automatically. First of all, uh, let's check up the uh, theme here. And so I can click on next, and then uh, it will give you the uh, theme of the uh, 17 articles that you uh, selected. So what are the themes, what are the repeated words there, and things like that. And so you can check it out.
Among 17 articles, uh, I think two or three articles is written in Korean. So it says, Shin Yuson, Yi Ji Wung, John and Choi, uh, mostly written in Korean, Korean language. So those are not identifiable, but other than that, English version is okay. So if you click on the next, call the sentences, then autocode is fixed. So you can save it here, or you can uh, save it as coding. So if you uh, simply click finish, uh, it will be saved as a part of the coding. So later you can uh, use the coding uh, for the reference sake and things like that. Uh, I think this is great because uh, without reading articles one by one, at least you could see the theme. What are the themes? Okay, uh, automatically. You simply click on that, and like I said, the condition is that uh, Korean language is not available here. But uh, uh, if you try the uh, well. Chinese, Spanish, Portugal, Portuguese, English, of course, and things like that. So uh, here you see uh, auto theme results. If I click on that, you see this one. Uh, these are the results of the uh, auto coding for the theme. And so if you click on the uh, transpose, if, you, if I click on the transpose, here you can take a look at the uh, themes there and you, authors, the researchers here. So, uh, who talk what and things like that. And so, again, uh, okay, let me uh, click on that. If I uh, click on that, I can see the, uh, the data, where the data come from. And again, if I click on that, I can see uh, the broader context of what's going on here. And so, uh, also, uh, one thing you need to remember is that the coding is done, like if you click on that, uh, cell content, uh, for, you need to change this one if you try to compare compare them. So I'm gonna uh, do the cell content, files coded and all classification and things like that. And if I click on that, you see all of them are number one, number one and things like that. And so, if I click that one, uh, I can see it that way. If I click on that, if I click on that, uh, you can enjoy many different ways of showing it or uh, viewing it, okay? Like that. And so I can uh, send this one to Excel, uh, to Excel, export, Excel, and where, and things like that. So you can open up the uh, uh, Excel once you save this one, okay, and save it, and then go to the screen, and if you click on that, you will see uh, this part again, okay? Uh, let me go back to the uh, core matrix studies, okay? Core matrix studies. Here we have uh, uh, 710. Uh, studies. Again, we can also do the uh, auto code here, like I like I did with the theme auto code. Click on the mouse, the right 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 mouse, and auto code. So here, if you click on the identify sentiment, then click on next, and then uh, it will give you the results of identifying how the uh, researchers feel about their topic, okay? So, uh, hold the sentences, okay, finish. If I click on that, I could finish that one. And then, sentiment analysis, okay? Now, that's uh, what uh, they call. Um, I did a text search and I did the autocode 
with the data, uh, 17 articles, okay? And what I'm gonna do next is the, uh, uh, of course, the uh, word cloud and things like that. We can also, you can also uh, do these kind of things right here. And so, uh, Takes time, takes time, takes time. Failing. Uh, can you think of the uh, application of this search? Finding out the uh, sentiment from the document. Maybe uh, we could use, use this one uh, in the economics, maybe customer survey and things like that. If you would like to know about your customer, how do they feel about something, then maybe you can interview and you could get the uh, sentiment analysis as well, okay? So, okay, we got the result right here. If you click on that, right here, uh, articles right here, and about their uh, sentiment. Again, I like transposing here, so uh, transpose here, then you can see negative, negative, and things like that. And so if, I, if you uh, click on that, uh, you could see uh, the, the actual wording there, very negative. Negative, for example, John reported that the eighth grade textbook included more casual and additive connectives than blah, blah, blah. So based upon that, uh, the counts are uh, created and so this is, I'm gonna do, okay? I'm gonna send this one again, export coding matrix to Excel. Uh, so uh, if I click on that, then I, uh, I could save this one to, uh, on, the, on the computer screen as well. So uh, autocode sentiment. If you uh, click on that, uh, autocode, uh, you can calculate the feelings right here. And so uh, perhaps you could uh, do this one, do this, do this one, and things like that. And so uh, total, and so you could have this one. And this way, and also uh, if I click on, if I copy this one, if I copy this one, and I'm going to send this up to here. And so, uh, control V, then, uh, okay, I'm sorry. Uh, like this way. Like this way. Uh, uh, normally, we uh, add up this one. Very negative and mod moderately negative. We can add up this one. And also, you can, we can add up this one. So if you take a look at this one, uh, the result is for, uh, okay. Ah, okay, let me add, add this one up. Okay, look, uh, these, these are the uh, positive ones, 455, and these are the uh, positive, okay. Uh, all together for positive 569 and for negative 545. So, uh, do you think that these differences are significant? Do you think that? It depends on the questions. Well, if you uh, make it total uh, right here, very negative, moderately negative, 455. And Moderate, moderately positive, very positive, 569. So we see the difference between here and here, obviously for a positive one. So is this significant? Yes. 
Let me ask you number three. When I do surveys, number three is always confusing for me. Do I take it up or take it down? <laughs> uh, for this case, uh, they, they just got very negative and negative. So in between is out. Uh, okay. And so again, moderate three uh, positive and very positive. So, okay. so I'm asking you, is the, this is the total feeling for positive, and this is total for uh, negative one. That's okay? And so uh, there is difference here, around 100 or things like that. Yeah. Will that be significant? Yes. How, how do you know? It's a big number. 10% <laughs> is quite big. Uh, simply by looking at the number, we cannot say that because we can see the num numerical differ differences here. And then, if we only take a look at that one, maybe uh, there are numerous differences like 100. So, if you say that 100 is significant, uh, how about 200 then? Or maybe. You're taking it out of a total of 1,000. A hundred out of a thousand is, is quite significant, it's 10%. So, uh, uh, I, I think that could be the difference between the uh, normal way of looking at the uh, reality. Uh, but uh, for the researchers, researchers say, uh, simply by looking at the numerical differences, we cannot say that uh, this is significant or not, because we have no proof of evidence. Are you with me? Well, we see 100, around 100 differences here, but we, we can only say that uh, there is a numerical differences uh, around 100 or, or so. But if you would like to prove the differences as, as the significant or not, what you can do about it. So... Yeah, you need more numbers. <laughs> need more <No>. information. <laughs> Maybe 200 or... Other than more, not, not numbers, just more. Well, you need to be very aware about this one because, um, well, if we collect the data from the field, we can have um, such kind of numerical differences. And so, we cannot say that this, uh, well, this is significant or not because it's subjective, okay? Well, it could be 150 or 200 or 1,000 or, or so. So uh, then what, what we can do about this one? Huh? No, I said you need more information. Um, for the research's sake, we need to test the, uh, this kind of numerical differences, okay? And so, uh, uh, why zero? Okay, uh, it, it failed to, uh, this one. Uh, let me uh, move this one, and then we have a cell like that, and so, So we have cell, such kind of cells here, and so uh, uh, what we can do is the uh, if we would like to know the significance or not, uh, what we can do is okay. Let's see. Uh, let's change it a little bit. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, let me copy this one and. Huh. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Uh, I cannot. I cannot transpose here. Hmm. Maybe uh, that way. If I transpose this one, okay. Okay, bingo. This one. I have nothing here. But this is much better. Let me export this one again. Okay. 
if I export this one, uh, well, what I'm doing is for your region of existence in this program. So it could be quite uh, uh, in understanding or in uh, interpreting the data, uh, there are many different stands. Okay, right here. Uh, that's much better. And so uh, let me clear the uh, the data here. I could I could move upward, and so uh, also I could move up uh, here. Uh, I could move up here, and also I could move up here. Okay. Then uh, what I can do is to prove uh, these numerical differences as a significant or not. So I need to test this one, okay? And so if I want to test this one, uh, copy this one, and where should I go? I should go to uh, uh, where? I can see it. I, I should go to uh, stat statistics here. So if I click on the uh, statistics, I can see uh, 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 SPSS is the tool that you need to uh, be familiar with in order to uh, uh, conduct research, okay? So right here, here, and so what I, what I can do, I can analyze this one, okay? And remember NOIR that I uh, explained last time? What was the NOIR? If you conduct research, you measure something, and uh, it can be divided as NOIR, and so, uh, because my my data my data belongs to the uh, nominal, if I go, go to the analysis in the SPSS, I cannot conduct the uh, parametric statistics, but I can do conduct non-parametric statistics. Okay, and so uh, uh, right here, uh, well, I can do. Uh, 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 I can do this one. Let me click on that. And so uh, I, I'm going to compare the emotions, the feelings like that, okay? If I click... <coughs> okay. So this is SPSS? SPSS, yes. Is this better than in vivo? No, there is no point of comparing it. Uh, the purpose are different, okay? And so uh, if I uh, go there, uh, non-parametric statistics, I can do this one, and uh, let's see. Uh, maybe uh, I can do this one. Uh, and so, uh, let me try this one. If I click on that, and if I put this one, then I, I yes, yeah, suddenly it, get, it, it gives me the results like that, okay? And so, uh, you need to read the table, okay? If you take a look at the uh, probability here, it says 0.934 and things like that. And so, if I do this one uh, with a chi-square, uh, how about the result? Is that significant or not? About the emotion differences, significant or not? I don't know what is the table for emotions. What's significant? Yeah. On what basis are you telling that? Well, you need to read this table if you would like to conduct research, okay? Uh, Natasha, Natasha, on what basis are you telling me that uh, this is significant? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Well, uh, the point, the critical point could be either 0 0.05 or 0 0.01, okay? So if the number exceeds those numbers, no significant, okay? If you take a look at this one, 0.934, no significant, not significant, not significant, and things like that, okay? So, uh, well, I just uh, searched for the, uh, um, um, for the chi-square for the demonstration sake, but uh, if you uh, do, I, I, I did all the searches right there, so if you uh, uh, do the uh, other searches, you will get the uh, statistically significant result. And these are usually what we do to prove the uh, evidence. So based upon the number, we can do it. What I'm showing you is the, uh, the possibility of uh, conducting qualitative and quantitative method at the same time. We start with the MBIBO and then we move to SPSS. So we are, what we are doing is a kind of mixed uh, method here, combining qualitative and quantitative at the same time. So with MBIBO, uh, well, you can do uh, such kind of mixed studies as well. Well, uh, you know what I'm saying all the time? What, what, what I, what, what, okay, sorry.